The first migrant to have gone to Rwanda, uh, he did so voluntarily and was celebrated in the House of Parliament by Jonathan Gullis uh, as the beginning of the um, detentions in Rwanda. Of course, the point about the law is that people will be forcibly removed. This person was paid £3,000 to go on a um, tourist trip, effectively. And now, oddly, uh, he was supposed to be put up at the luxury Hope Hostel in Kigali, and now he's disappeared. Are we remotely surprised? He received £3,000 financial aid and a complimentary commercial flight from London, and the... Uh, government's plan to deport uh, people to Rwanda from the UK for arriving in the UK by an illegal route, which under any other uh, understanding of international law is legal. In Britain, it's now declared illegal uh, under the 1951 Refugee Convention. It's uh, under British law under British law up to Suella Braverman uh, and the principle of uh, precedent, it is acceptable. So it still has to be challenged, of course, in British courts, and it would be very interesting to see how these move forward, because, of course, the law has been designed so that it can't really be challenged. But nevertheless, uh, there's reports in The Sun that Hope Hostel has been cleared for migrants sent to by the UK, but it remains empty with the gates locked and uh, the man from the UK is, quote, lying low somewhere in Rwanda. And uh, so what exactly is he doing? Who exactly is this person? Why did he go to Rwanda? What happened to him? Uh, Hope Hostel is a four-storey building with 50 double rooms, with balconies, it can house 100 people. But already the Rwandan authorities are saying that they cannot commit to how many people are going to be accommodated in Rwanda for the huge amount of money that we are paying them. Uh, on the grounds of the uh, Hope Hostel, there's a floodlit football pitch, a basketball court, some communal areas with widescreen televisions providing recreational activities for residents and despite the emptiness uh, Rwandan locals believe that the new arrivals will be warmly welcomed uh, that that is unless of course the hostel is taken over by Rwandans who want to buy up hot property uh, so far a lot of the uh, a, a lot of the smaller houses which have been built for to, to accommodate migrants from the UK have been brought up by Rwandans in Kigali. There's a little booklet which goes with the uh, Rwandan state um, reception which says that they will be given safe and clean accommodation, food, health care and recreation. Mm. Rwanda is generally a safe country with a track record of supporting asylum seekers as indeed we know from the treatment of asylum seekers from the neighbouring Republic of Congo, uh, 13 of whom, I think it was 13, were shot. And there's been no um, investigation into that, or at least there's been no publication about an investigation. And that took place some years ago. Hmm. Well, safe country as we now legally have to declare it. So Rwanda, the legally safe country.